Hi, I'm Jim. Welcome back. Um, as you may have guessed from the title of this video, new gas tank. Um, this one, I don't know if you can see a stain, I'll bring you in in a second. This one cracked again last year, um, not the first time. Uh, I'm done with it, you know. I could weld it again and hope that it didn't crack again, but uh, no. So, new tank. It's aluminum, same material as the last one, but I changed the construction technique. And um, also, obviously, I'm not just starting this job. A uh, bunch of footage kind of vanished on me. So let me zoom you in, explain why I think this one's been cracking and how I did that one different. And then we'll jump into the process of fabricating this. So you can probably see the blue stain. It was right here. This is where it's. Right in here is where it's cracked, and it looks like there's a little seepage over here. Um, this has been welded once, where it cracked before. My theory, and like right here, you can see that, I think. You know, that oil cans, and uh, poking around, I can get this section to pop up, you know, when I reach inside, and, you know, just a lot of flexing so my belief is that we're getting oil can as a fuel oil canning as the fuel sloshes around that's flexing these joints and I really don't know how deep this way the penetration of that weld is I suspect it's fairly shallow but as that as that joint flexes here then that you know causes us to crack that's my theory so let's look at the other tank and see what I've done to f change that so I cut a chunk out of the flange of the tank in that red square and those are the pieces I cut out and you can see where that arrow is pointing. That's the depth of the weld coming in from the edge and um, you know playing with calipers looks like I got about 43 thousandths there, 43 thousandths of an inch. Um, some spots was closer to 30 hard to measure so that kind of backs up my theory that there was inadequate penetration into that weld um, and that's why it was cracking along there. Okay this one isn't quite as pretty I will admit for a number of reasons but uh, you know rather than having the two pieces and just a thin weld here I folded formed these over so I got a butt weld here there's a baffle inside there wasn't a baffle in the other one it's those that welded across the top it's welded to the bottom um, you can see the ribs that I rolled into the skins and now when I, you know, I mean, that's, that's putting most of my not inconsiderable weight onto this thing and it just doesn't move. It does not oil can, it does not, I can get a little bit of flexing there, but it's not flexing a weld. So, yeah, this, this is a lot stiffer, a million percent, so different weld type so I know I got a good you know lots of weld bead here not like that little thin thing so that's my theory we'll see how it plays out in practice and the size uh, you know I essentially added this on to the back that gets me an extra um, about three gallons maybe a little bit more than three gallons we'll know exactly when I fill it uh, which is nice when you start with eight or eight and a half um, getting closer to 12 is, is a good thing. So with that, um, I guess we'll hop in our time machine, go back to when I started bashing metal. Uh, this is, well, you'll see. <laughs> 